Okay, so the next thing we can do is add some extra elements of images and videos over the top. Now you can see we've got this big long stretch of me blathering on and that is going to be super boring. So what I want to do is to grab some bits of video to break up that talking and I'm going to put it on a layer above. All I'm doing is just dragging and dropping there. Um, and then so for this one, I'll place it where I want it. I can then preview what I'm talking about at that time just to make sure that it fits in with the Visual narration. Australia. I work primarily with drawing and printmaking and I like to... So perhaps this one might suit well when I'm talking about drawing and printmaking. And it's, it's a picture of me just doing some drawing there. I can stretch that time out as well and to see how long I want that, go, that going for. But I think just a few seconds is probably enough there. Great, so you can see that this is on top. And when I start to play... From Canberra, Australia. I work primarily with drawing and printmaking and I like to use... A you can see that it keeps the audio of me talking underneath, but you'll see the new video of me painting over the top. I'm going to stretch this out a little further. And one thing that you can think about doing when you've got these um, process images is testing out what it might look like in terms of the time. So for this one, it's a close-up of brushwork. It might actually look quite nice if it's in slow motion. So I'm going to this uh, speed toggle at the right hand side of the menu bar, I'll open that up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the speed down to like 20% or something. It's going to give me a really longer clip, but I can trim that down. But let's have a quick look at what this might look like Later, and over the top. Artist from Canberra, Australia. I work primarily with drawing and printmaking, and I like to use a cheeky sense of humor to talk about Cool. So it's maybe a little slow. I might speed it up a little bit and then just trim it down so it doesn't go on forever. And let's try that. Canberra, Australia. I work primarily with drawing and print That looks better. And I like to use a cool. cheeky sense of humor to talk about. Let's try with another clip. I think I've got one over here that I might then import later on. And I'm, I'll line this up with the right kind of narration later on. But for this one, you can see I've already uh, had a play with the speed here and I've amped it up to 282%. Let's go you know, even faster. So this is where you can get like a time lapse um, effect if you just want to show um, you know, some, a, a lot of work in a short amount of time. Um, creative, happy and healthy. Um, I... I probably need to edit this part of the audio, but you can see that you've got me painting over the top. I really like to take on lots of... Great. So I think that's a, that's a cool one there to show um, the process and I'll find the right spot to put that in um, where it might be talking a little bit about me just working away in the studio. Cool. So that is something to try. Uh, again, you might need to, with these clips you put over the top, um, just check the audio on there. So I'm going to uh, either separate or expand the audio. If you, if you don't need that audio at all, I'd suggest just deleting it. Um, otherwise you can, uh, let's try this one, I can go to my audio toggle here and just click on mute or turn it down a little bit. There's a few options there, but that's one way of um, getting some of those images over the top. Now what you can try doing as well is adding a transition effect just to get it to fade in or out um, so that it's not just a, a jolt. So the most common one probably is the dissolve. Um, so I'm going to add dissolve onto this. I've just selected that bit of clip and I can make it a little bit longer with the, the, the duration of that sort of fade. So let's see how it looks when I fade into that bit of it off footage. Is, um, often just in kind of crisp. There we go. Light. Great. And then it's applied that to both sides of that. There are other things as well, like, you know, the, um, the wipe and slide ones that you see in, uh, in, in Star Wars and that kind of thing, that are a little bit cheesy sometimes. Let's have a look. And let's see what this push left transition does. Um, often just in kind of crisp like a There we go. That's a little bit cheesy, a little bit, uh, a little bit um, Star Wars, but um, it could be quite fun as well. And lots of movement. Great.